Were you surprised by this, or is this just more of the same? I mean, it, it is interesting to see. Uh, this is the first back-to-back -back, uh, monthly decline since mid-2022. So we've actually had, uh, you know, for, for some time we had a real sustained period of growth for, for the industry. Uh, I think what's maybe surprising looking into these numbers, one of the sort of trouble points the last few months have, have been battery electric vehicles. Uh, we actually had a, a relatively solid month, uh, I'm happy to report, uh, for September, where uh, roughly 14% gain for the industry, which is pretty solid. Uh, but what we did see was uh, just some some weakness in in the rest of the industry, and uh, we've we've now just seen a, a sort of you know fairly consistent up and down nature to to uh, you know overall sales to where you know we're now only up for 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 the year a one percent through the first nine months of 2024. Is it priced in? You got GM this week, you got Tesla this week, you got Mercedes this week. We've already had some pretty grim numbers coming out of other European autos. Are the U.S. automakers in a different place than European automakers, or is this a global phenomenon? I think the, maybe the global phenomenon for these international companies uh, that is very consistent is the, the weakness in China. I think that's going to be very interesting to hear from GM later today. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen that consistently across the, the Germans. Uh, even, even Tesla, I think, uh, is maybe holding up better than some of these other companies, but isn't uh, by any means sort of seeing the growth uh, from, from China that they did in the past. And so, you know, to the extent that they're having growth issues, uh, it is, you know, they're also part of this trend as well, that mm. uh, Tesla, Tesla, you know, was absolutely, uh, you know, growing like gangbusters there a few years ago. And even, you know, on an export uh, basis, you know, it's, it, the, the Shanghai plant uh, has, is sort of tapped out and they're not looking to, to expand manufacturing in that country. So we'll watch the China dynamic very closely for these global players. But what about the, the, the way that policy is helping or not helping in Europe? Because we saw EV sales drop off in places where there had been support from governments and then that was removed. Now there's talk of support coming back in Germany and you wonder whether that's causing some people to pause and not buy. Yeah, I, I think that's an interesting thought. I, I do think that what we're also probably seeing is some holding back even by the manufacturers as, as we uh, close out the year because they need to hit higher CO2 uh, emissions targets for next year. So why rush your EVs out uh, before the end of this year when you really need them in 2025? I think the other question in terms of uh, policy-wise is uh, I suspect we're going to hear a lot of, of conversations on earnings calls uh, for the European companies about tariffs, right, mm. uh, with, with Donald Trump talking about uh, you know tariffs being the most beautiful word his favorite word uh, that that was a, a big point of emphasis obviously in the first uh, Trump administration and and the uh, potential for that to be a big risk for these companies is absolutely I think on a lot of investors minds